What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how we can customize our own Windows installation disks, i.e. slipstreaming all your drivers, uh, all your security patches, service packs, uh, anything like that you can put into your Windows installation disk. And this could be for Windows XP or we're up to Windows 10 even. So we're going to take a look at what we're going to be doing here in this Windows 7 build. I'm just going to show you some quick steps because a couple of people have requested it. So let's first get on with the programs that we're going to be using. We're going to be using NT Lite. Okay, it's in beta and you can see here uh, it's going to allow us to set up a lot of stuff like uh, live install modifications, component removal, hardware targeting, uh, driver and update language packs. You can implement all this into your uh, build, okay, tweaks, unattended setup and all that sort of stuff. Okay, the next bit we're going to need is all our Windows updates and you can get this from Windows Updates Downloader. You've seen me use this before, it's pretty straightforward to use and you can see here the download links for the pages and when you want to get the um, URLs you just go here and this will give you the URLs to, to download. Okay. The next thing is if you want to draw, uh, in, import all your uh, driver packs, now there's a couple of reasons why some people might want to do this and some people might not want to do this. Years ago, uh, you used to slipstream in XP and stuff. You could slipstream uh, driver packs, loads of driver packs. That seemed to be the norm. Everyone wanted loads of driver packs to put in there. But nowadays, I mean, really, you could have a driver pack CD itself and that would work just as well. But if you do want to install driver packs, say, for instance, if you're a home user and you've got, say, for instance, a Dell machine like we've got here, you can select your Dell machine and then download a, a driver pack, a cab file, which has all the drivers for that machine, 32-bit uh, and 64-bit, and you could just slipstream that straight into your build. So anytime you uh, install your Windows on your machine, it'll have all the drivers for your machine and all the drivers and security updates for Windows. That's another good option for you. PC repair techs. Pretty much uh, you're not going to put every single driver pack on because it will be so large it will take forever to do as well. So in my opinion just get yourself a driver pack uh, DVD with all your driver packs and put them onto an external drive or whatever way you want to do it and then run your checks for updates for your drivers that way. Okay so that's that done. So what we're going to do here now is I've got a work folder on my desktop here. And inside this work folder, I've got a cab file, which is what I've downloaded here. And I've dragged it all out into this folder. And this will be all the drivers that was in that uh, link that I showed you. Okay, for that ma particular machine. Now, I haven't got this machine. I'm just using this as an example. Now, to unpack these, you just need to right click and use 7-zip to open archive. And you can see this is the folder inside here we're going to be pointing to the folder itself and not one particular file that means it's going to use all the drivers for that particular you can see unpacked it's 703 megabytes and the folders are 64 bit and 32 bit now you could just drop out the 32 bit if you're never going to use it and just uh, slipstream the 64 bit if that's what you want to do and save yourself a bit of space um, if you want to do that but if you've got uh, if you're going to be using both then you can slipstream them both depending on what one you, you what you want to do and you can see this all your network drivers chipset drivers and so on and this would be the same for any brand of computer ie uh, MSI motherboard or uh, Dell or Toshiba or compact you know the list endless you'd need to get drivers for that particular machine we've got our Windows disk here and I've pulled it all off into a folder and uh, we're going to be using this one. Now this could be any type of Windows. This is Windows 7. But you could have Windows 8, Windows XP, Windows Vista. And you'd have to use different software, i.e. Uh, v Lite and so on. Getting a bit old now, v Lite, But I mean, there's a lot of different software out there to slipstream into different versions of Windows. Watch some of my other videos and you'll see I've slipstreamed uh, before using different software. And this is our updates folder, Windows updates download folder. You can see I've already downloaded some. Uh, service pack one if you needed to slipstream that in with security updates you can see here big on a list of security updates uh, for service for the uh, Windows 7 
and also we've got here some optional ones and you can uh, put these in as well silver light um, and stuff like that like um, IE 11 and so on okay so let's get cracking now you can see here we've got a couple of files here compressed list uh, compressed update list this is the files that you download okay with using the Windows update downloader and basically when you click on this uh, sometimes it's a bit slow but when you click on this you'll get this window pop up and this is where you get those files from okay so you can see here we've got exchange 2003 office 2003 right away through to um, windows 8.1 and windows 8.1 update you can see here okay vista xp you just download the 32-bit or the 64-bit version depending on what you want uh, service pack uh, one you can see service pack uh, four there for 2000 and so on you click on this and it will download the file okay now I've already got these onto my desktop and this will just be the files for all the latest updates for when they've been updated okay so there we have our files on there we've got the 32 bit and the 64 bit for Windows 7 we're just going to be using the 32 bit here I think just to show you so first off let me open up the Windows updater uh, program and you can see here they have got green little squares here that means these files have already been downloaded okay and if we look here you can see security updates got 99 that means there's 99 updates inside this folder for the uh, Windows 7 okay now also you've got the other uh, types non security here updates and you can see here if I go through here uh, you'll see a big long list of them okay so as you can see here we can select those if we want you can select individual uh, ones which you want to download or you can download all of them depending on what you want to do okay if you want to do all of them you just put the tick in there and it will download all those okay but they are non-security updates now remember the more you download the more bigger the, the installation is going to be and also that will mean if you want to keep it to a disk and you want to slipstream all your driver packs and stuff and other bits and pieces that's going to become a big size and it may not fit onto a disk and that means you're going to have to install into a thumb drive and then you can use it that okay now for instance if you wanted to uh, get optional ones you could do that as well as I said here you could just um, for instance what's this uh, let's have a look here okay I can see that and uh, we need to select say for instance if you wanted Microsoft uh, Secure Essentials installed you can click on this and this will download it now if I click download you can see that's now going to download that and install that okay if you don't want to install it into your build you don't need to you don't need to select it you can take the tick out and you'll be fine and you don't need to install it into your build so that's basically where you download all your updates from now this is your path where you're going to be downloading it to you can see it's on my work folder on my desktop and these are your update lists you will have a big list here of uh, your updates so you can uh, keep your uh, slipstreamed discs up to date fully so as soon as you see something that needs to be updated again you can just drag all the your newest updates into your work folder and away you go I'd advise you not to keep it on your desktop but basically that's how you do it okay so let's close this off next up we're going to be opening up NT Lite and this is going to allow us to uh, mount our ISO or our um, Windows uh, disk and basically slipstream everything into that okay all our updates we've got now if we look in our work folder you can see here we've got all our stuff here ready to roll and uh, this is our Windows disk and our Dell updates if we wanted to use Dell or anything else so let's fire this up now if you don't uh, know how to pull out all your Windows files for instance if you've got your Windows here you just drag these off of your CD or unpack an ISO and you can use 7-zip to do that okay so now we've got uh, this program open NT Lite we're going to need to target our Windows disk and we can do that by going add desktop work depending on where yours is we're going to just click on the folder here and click select folder and you can now see it's mounted now you won't have probably one of these but you can see here I've got a universal installer um, but you may just have the one uh, 
versions here okay whether it be home or premium premium or professional whatever but I've got the both here okay in one so we're just going to concentrate on the 32 bit here just for this video and all you need to do is double click on the uh, version that you want and this is now going to put all that into there okay so this is just an example of what you do you click on this and it will mount that dot uh, win file so we can uh, put all the files inside there you can see the install dot win so that's going to basically allow us to uh, load all our stuff into that now once this is loaded up you'll see a little green light turn on here and that means it's mounted and we're ready to go now who is why this is loading who is going to be needing this type of slipstream disk well i think there's a probably about three people that's going to need this i.e home users may want to as i said slipstream all their latest updates for their main own machine uh, obviously you don't want to be putting driver packs in if you've got three different laptops because then you're not going to be needing them drivers so if you've got one particular type of machine and you want to do that you can do that the next one would be a PC repair techs and again I see PC repair techs using old CDs installing Windows and then going to Windows updates to update all their windows and I know particular uh, uh, people that have been doing that and still do that today and it's a very slow process and you can it's all about time management you get more time back by doing it this way and it will save you so much more time the next person is the administrator who works in a company and he may want to uh, just prep a system and, and get it all built with all the latest patches and updates okay so anyway I'm starting to ramble so we've got um, our green light now on and that's all loaded so we can go to removals here first now pop-ups gonna pop here and say uh, you know careful you're removing Windows components so unless you know what you're doing I would avoid I would avoid using this area here okay because this is um, talking about changing the structure of the Windows disk itself and you could mess up the installation altogether and it won't work so if you if you're not familiar with this type of stuff leave it well alone but basically you can strip out all the non-essential stuff that you don't need uh, in your build and you can do that from here but again you might need to do a bit of research to work out what you want to uh, disable and what you don't want to disable or just leave it well alone features again these are the features that are actually built into the windows disk and you can take some of these out if you don't wish to have them on there okay now you can see here the remote and stuff like that you've got other bits like tablet pc components bits and pieces in inside here okay your, your internet explorer and so on so the updates area is where we're going to be dropping in our updates uh, this is going to be all our security updates and this is where we're going to be putting them all in into here okay now again you can put your language packs down inside here so if you're from another different country a foreign country like Russia or India or something like that you can slipstream all those language packs inside here so they're ready for you to use okay when you install Windows so let's go to the add button here and go to the desktop and we're going to look for our work folder and look for the Windows updates download folder where we downloaded all our updates from so let's take a look at the security updates here so I'm just going to quickly uh, highlight the first one pull the bar down and then hold the shift key down and I light all these up so we can then drop them in you'll see it's saying loaded and now we're loaded all those into our build and that'll be the same thing really for service packs if you want to slipstream the service pack in you just do the same thing okay you go to here here back into your service pack and drop that into there okay um, so once that's all loaded in you should have your service packs and all your updates all loaded in and all your language packs all loaded in next thing is your drivers the drivers area is empty at the minute but if you've got a particular machine that you want to slipstream all them drivers in for then you can do it here and you can hit the add button go to your downloads uh, sorry desktop and your work folder and go to the folder which is what you're trying to do in this case we're going to drop in the whole folder with for 32 bit and 64 bit for this particular model of Dell machine and this could be the same thing for any other branded laptop or desktop or whatever it is you want to do 
and you can see here this is going to load all these in and they're ready to go it's that simple settings again you can uh, enable or disable as you can see here uh, on your settings and set this up how you want um, I'm just going to leave this alone uh, unattended again you can uh, pre-configure all your um, windows setup choices ie how you want it to uh, go when you install and this will be an unattended install basically you can put in your product key down here and this will allow you to enter the product key for that item and uh, basically uh, as you know you won't have to put that in it will do this automatically inside the um, installation and you've got also your EULA uh, license here you can put the tick in this and it will skip that and accept that on the installation so you don't have to stop you can walk away and it will pre-install and do all these features for you okay so that's basically how you set up your uh, unattended install now we can probably cover this in another video but if you want to know more about it you can always go over to some other forums or my forums and ask questions and we can answer them up here and we'll tell you how you can and there is set up uh, templates that people use and you can use those as well and I've got some of those to hand as well post setup again I've done a video on post setup but this is where you can set up your post setup here and um, and you've got your apply area which will then apply okay once you've done that you click on uh, you can see here integrated 99 packages and so on and once you've done this you're pretty much ready to go okay so you just click on start and apply changes and that will then start to build uh, the uh, disk for you okay so you can see here now the progress is uh, going through these and you can see every time it implements one of these in it will go green and say done and it's been uh, slipstreamed into that build okay now if there's any problems these will probably go red and it will uh, say that it's not slipstreamed in and then you can investigate but pretty much it should go through all smoothly okay and this will take a bit of time to do now again by doing this it's going to save you a heap of time when it comes to installing windows i can't stress that enough and as for a pc repair tech i see so many guys still not doing this and it really does take no time at all and it saves you a lot of time and you can have this a bunch of these by get yourself a, a hard drive with a bunch of uh, images there that you want to keep up to date and you can just keep them running and keep them all up to date and it will save you tons of time when it comes to installing windows So I'll come back again when this is all complete. Okay, so that's now all integrated. As you can see, the integration has been uh, done for the uh, packages. It's now just integrating all the drivers and there's 173 of those. So that's gonna take a bit of time. So we'll just let that do its thing. We'll come back to it when it's complete. That's the uh, integrated now, and you can see the integration uh, down the bottom here. This is the actual files that's getting integrated. You can see them getting listed down the bottom here. There's also this little toolbar at the top, which allows you to make changes, i.e., to create an ISO image and uh, whatnot, clean backup image, uh, clean uh, update backup, and so on. Okay, so we'll just let this continue, and we're near the end of this now. Okay, that's now complete and you can see here there was five drivers missing and this is uh, here okay you can see these but this is a virtual machine we're in here uh, which I'm showing you so I'm not too worried about that um, and you can see the big file here with all the information I'm just going to close this off so what we can do here you can see we're on a virtual box here okay so let's uh, take a look here with the import export rename you've got your clone here which allows you to uh, basically make a duplicate of what you've uh, just created you can see we've got the auto saved session here on the right but and you've got your refresh here again you can create um, your uh, ISOs once you've completed all that stuff and uh, once you've got your work all finished 
uh, you can create an ISO so you can see here I've got this mounted I just highlight this and then we can just create an ISO of that if we want to we just call this uh, and then we'll just uh, click save and that's going to want to go to uh, let's see double label I saw no moving away okay we're just going to click OK here and that's going to now start to create um, the ISO image So that's the actual ISO now completed on our desktop as you can see and we've got all our files inside there. Now also if you want to unmount this uh, you can see it says mounted here that means it's still mounted. So if you want to undo this you can right click on this and it gives you a list of stuff load, export and so on. Okay, You can export the WIM file, you un uh, unload this and this or create an ISO and this will allow you to unload this. Okay. So basically what we're going to do here is unload this and you can save the existing changes if you want to to your image. Now if you want to completely update this on a regular basis I would advise you to save this. I'm not going to bother because it's just a tutorial and uh, basically once you've done that this will unmount that image and pretty much you're good to go from there and you can see it's just uh, unmounting the image now. And that's now complete. And uh, basically you can uh, get rid of this if you wish uh, and just go to forget and that will get rid of that and uh, you can close this off and pretty much it's a done deal. You've got yourself an updated uh, ISO with all your slipstreamed uh, updates, driver packs and stuff like that. Okay. So I hope this one helps you out guys. It really is a useful video for you PC repair techs and also some other guys that want to learn how to do it. It's pretty straightforward stuff once you learn how to. And uh, you can use this method on, on this bit of software from Windows 7 up to Windows 8 and 8.1. And if you wanted to use older versions, there's other uh, ways of doing that with uh, older versions of software. Okay. And if you watch some other videos, you'll see there is other software that I've used to do slipstreaming and stuff like that as well. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. That's how you basically build your own customized uh, Windows installation disks or or slipstream discs or whatever you want to call them my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button and also hit the uh, subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when i upload new videos if you've got any problems with your computers or you want to join the community you can always head over to our forums uh, it doesn't cost you anything you can join up over there ask some questions join in the fun and uh, pretty much uh, help out a little bit as well when you've got the time Anyway, have a great weekend, guys, and I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.